Welcome back to the Izzy Rant. This is the biggest week ever on my show. The craziest things happened in the history of the United States of America. And let me tell you, my audience, how serious the situation is. Neville Chamberlain, when he signed the treaty with the worst murderer of history, <sighs> when he signed the deal with the Nazi leader Adolf Hitler, there was no president to that. He was the first Neville Chamberlain to believe that a tyrant that called for the destruction and the murder of million people could maybe be a, relied on for a peace treaty. America has no business negotiating and meeting with the sponsor of world terrorism. The only one that's not lying to you, the only one not lying to you right now is the Iranians. The Iranians, since they took over their country and persecute their own people, and they rule them with an iron fist, and they dictate them by Sharia law, even though there's 60, 70 million people in the country that might not want that. It's the few Ayatollahs that took over the country and made the Revolutionary Guard and threw out the Americans from the country and scared out the Jews from their country and scared out all the Christians. There's only a couple of Christians and Jews in the country left. Look at the numbers. Just go to Wikipedia. Only the Obama administration says that you can make peace with people that want to kill us all. A couple of days ago, millions of people in Iran stood together and they burnt American flags and they called on death to America. They burnt Israeli flags and they called death to the Jews. And Obama and John Kerry said they reached an agreement. Four Americans were recently taken hostage in Iran. They have no lawyer. And they're locked up for no reason, just to punish us. Did America at least get back their four hostages? They are right now enriching uranium. They are making nuclear and atom bombs. And what are we doing? We're saying that they have to sign a treaty that if the UN gives three weeks notice, they could go inside and see that they're not making any more centrifuges? When America wants to arrest a terrorist, do they say, we're going to sign a treaty and every few months we'll call you and you'll get three weeks notice to see what you're up to? Stop the lying regime. Stop the leaders in America that think they're going to sign a peace treaty. We are in grave danger with reaching an Iran agreement. They only have our worst interests in mind. Speak up and stop this terrible deal. <sighs> the end.